Oh, Bale, you demon. Bale is quick, lads, and strong. Yeah, he's definitely quick and strong dribbler. I can feel it already. Now, does he have end result? Back post! Oh, what a ball in! What's the crack, lads? Welcome to our Bale review. I'm going to show you a secret build that has been absolutely dominating for me that you guys need to try out if you're struggling with Bale. Is he meta? Is he not? Let's go. All right, lads. So let's get straight into it, right? We did get Bale in a double pack. Huge shout out to everybody who donated on our live stream. You can go back and check out the full live stream if you want. And this is the animation for a double pack where you basically get two of the packs legends are the epic players in one spin so in one 10 pack spin we got fletcher and we got of course garrett bale to be honest with you i think we we got very lucky here even though we had to clear half the pack um so i do feel that like it depends if if you have to like empty the pack for bale i think he loses a mark for that because he's definitely a really required kind of taste he's not the finished article you need to put a bit of work into him but he's a very unique card i'm going to show you that while he might not suit everybody I'm going to show you a very nice build. That is just the second player that we got there, Fletcher, in the double pack. But this is what Bale is all about, lads, and this is where the build is I'm going to give you, right? It's about a bit of acceleration. He has that physical contact with the strength, and also when he doesn't have the ball, even though he doesn't have any defensive stats, like that's an unbelievable ball in. When he doesn't have defensive stats, we're going to train him up in a defensive way with skills. Now, that's a super ball in. It's just a stunning cross in. Very, very nice. But I think this highlights Bale a little bit better, right? So look at the trickery and look at the just basic dribbling. Now, if you guys struggle with dribbling and you want to see a dribble tutorial of how to do dribbles like this, where it's not about slowing the play down, it's about just kind of anticipation and stuff like that, smash that like button, subscribe, and let me know in the comments below. He can also pass, even though he doesn't have insanely good passing stats or passing skills. I just feel like he's a fun player. Now, I was predominantly playing Bale out left midfielder. Now, what this enables him to do is to play him all left flank and be able to push in as an SS. We're going to show you two different builds or just kind of an alteration to the build. That is the ultimate build that I have gone for with Bale. I think you're doing the card a disservice if you try to put him in as an SS. Yes, you can get his finish into 90, but I don't think that that's really what suits him. Now, the big problem with Bale that will put a lot of people off from using him will be the fact that he's a creative playmaker. Perez also has this issue, but I think that Bale actually does hang out left if you put anchoring on him. And even without that, if you get his attack and awareness with this build over 80, while still having the balance, acceleration, speed, and of course the lofted pass, if you're going to be crossing as you saw in those earlier clips, he can be a beast. Now this is where the card gets a little bit kind of, yeah, into Wild Wild West territory, right? We did throw a double touch on him just to quicken up that animation. And we also have fighting spirit, track back and interception. Now what, why would I waste this? Well, if you have a sub-tactic that Bale is going to go back into kind of the Roberto Carlos-esque position, this is going to be super for him. And even as a left midfielder, he's going to be brilliant with that fighting spirit because he's got fairly high stamina and that will help, um, you know, enforce that. That's the build 5, 6, 8, 12, 5, 2. Nothing into defending. The aerial strength is going to be at 85 for physical contact and the jumping you won't need too much. Now, if you want to make a slightly different build for an SS or you want to train him as an AMF, I would definitely take a few off shooting and passing and get his dribbling, get his tight possession to 90. That's where I would go with that. So take it out with shooting, passing and aerial strength and pop it into dribbling until you have... Um, until you have 90 tight possession, basically. We've only got 85 there. His booster is obviously the lofted pass, speed, acceleration, and stamina that we're going to be getting, and to curl as well. Now, you can shoot with Bale, but I definitely think he's more of a, a left midfielder. You can play him as an SS here, definitely, but I do feel that his runs, his manual runs, he's really kind of like Rafael Leao. He reminded me of Rafael Leao, who I never really got on with, but you can see here as well that stamina is not that big of an issue with him. I see people ask me the whole time, does stamina need to be in the 90s? No, because if stamina ever becomes an issue for one of your main players, you just yoink him off at like 75 minutes and replace him because you've got an equally good player. But I like his movement here with the AI. I like what he's trying to achieve here. His movement from the AI is really, really nice to spin around the corner and eventually we just get a, a, a kind of shitty goal, right? But yeah, to rate, rail, to rate bail, not rate rail, to rate bail is going to be hard because he is a required taste. I feel like a lot of people are going to ignore him and sleep on him because he's an out wild player and out wild players don't really ever you know they're not really meta unless they can cut in and shoot like blitz card or sun or rebri or somebody like that that's going to be the full package but bale is definitely a unique card do i think there will be a better version of bale coming out in the near future yes i do think that there will be but for now i'm having what's most important to me in the game at the moment with bale 
fun and i do think that he's a really fun card you can shoot you can stun and shot you can stun and cross you've got the edge crossing for the super skill that he has the showtime skill he's just a fun card man and i do feel that if you play out wide and you play possession you throw the ball around you try different things this can be a really really nice card so i'm going to give him a solid 8 out of 10 I would probably, if I was being very selfish, I would probably rate him as like an 8.5, 9 because of my play style. But for the average person thinking, is he worth spinning? I think if you play out wide, yes. If not, I think there are better options through the middle. Especially that he's hampered by the creative playmaker uh, play style. But let me know what you guys think. Did you spin or skip for Bill? What cards are you looking forward to? And as I said, if you guys want a dribbling tutorial, let me know and we'll get working on that for eFootball25.